Oh, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And Kaman Zelensky is out there on video today, was doing the media rounds, begging for more of your taxpayer money in his efforts to beat back Russia uh, because they are winning this war, as they will tell the media. But behind the scenes, the story is quite different. Uh, it's being reported that the U.S. government has already told Zelensky, yeah, you're not winning this uh, fight. Uh, this The Russians are going to win. Um, and so on the heels of that bad news for Zelensky, which everyone has known about for a good part of over a year, um, with all the propaganda that was pushed out there uh, during the midst of this, where you were unable to talk about Ukraine, you're unable to be critical of the position of the Ukrainians uh, and the corruption within that state. Uh, they are He is now desperate enough uh, to continue to make his media rounds to ask for money, and most importantly, invite Donald Trump to Ukraine. If I was advisor to President Trump, I would tell him, no, do not go to Ukraine. It's a trap. It's definitely a trap. But what he wants here is trying to show Trump that he cannot solve this in 24 hours, as Trump promised that he would be able to. If he was president, he said this conflict would be, have been over in 24 hours uh, because he would have been able to... Um, come to a good peace negotiation between the two countries. So really the only candidate uh, or the only sane person at the time calling for peace was Donald Trump. The only person that was not calling for escalation of military use was President Trump. He was the only one not uh, calling for uh, all of the, any of that. Um, and so Zelensky here, once again, going on the media, asking for more money and inviting President Trump to Ukraine. Let's take a listen to this grifter over in Eastern Europe. But before we do, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. Allow me to share some info with you. Hopefully, you can share it with your friends and family. Smash that like button, 1,500 likes. If you like the content, you like the video, you like the channel, you can become a channel member by smashing that join button. Or uh, you can hit that super thanks button, which absolutely helps. I do appreciate it. So thank you so much for that. So let's go ahead and get into the story here. Um, of course, Zelensky, dude, I cannot stand this guy. I cannot stand how he talks. It just, dude's a goblin. Dude's a goblin. He might be the twin of Dr. Fauci. I don't know. These, these people are so unlikable. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a listen. President Zelensky, former President Trump, who is the GOP frontrunner, has said that if he is reelected, he could end this war in 24 hours. What is your reaction and message to former President Trump about that? Former President Trump said that about 24 hours that he can manage it and finish the war. For me, uh, what can I say? So he's very welcome, first of all. President Biden was here and he, I think he understood some details, which you can understand only being here. So I invite President Trump, if he can come here, I will need 24 minutes Yes, 24 minutes, not more. Yes, not more, 24 minutes to explain President Trump that he can't manage this war. He can't bring peace because of the Putin. If, but always we have if. If he is not trying and if he is not ready to give our territory uh, for this terrible man, for, 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 for the Putin. If you are not ready to give it, if you are not ready to give our independence, he, 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 can't, he can't manage it. Yes. You so have, he's very welcome. He's welcome to come to Ukraine. Yeah. yeah. If I was an advisor for President Trump, I would definitely tell him to steer clear of going to the Ukraine. Uh, definitely sounds like a trap. Uh, however, um, Zelensky is incorrect here. Uh, Trump would be able to solve this, this problem here with Putin and Zelensky, Ukraine and Russia, bring it to a peaceful end in negotiation and where both parties would win in the negotiations. Uh, what they want to do is continue to enrich their uh, backers through the American taxpayer, through the money laundering that we have seen, uh, through the uh, through the uh, country of Ukraine, and not to mention all the other things that they uh, cook up 
in the country of Ukraine uh, on behalf of the globalists. So we continue to see that this they don't want this war to end. They want this gravy train to keep moving through. And the fear of this war coming to an end is the fear of the money coming to an end and accountability being on the table. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys can follow me on all my social media, all linked in the description down below. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great, great day.